What do you remember about Harley Race? Just a top-notch guy, great worker, tough as nails. Thank God I never had to wrestle against him, you know. But he was he was tremendous, and he got his he started his own uh, thing in. Uh, Oh, he lived in Missouri, so I think it was Springfield, Missouri or something. He, he got his own TV show going, and he used to bring me in, and I wrestled an hour of Broadway on television for him. He goes, okay, this last match we're doing, or this last taping was a third taping. He goes, you're the only match. You're going to go out there and go the whole thing. But we went the whole hour time limit or whatever on television. Good old Harley, you know, he... He loved, and he had his own school there forever, just outside of uh, uh, Columbus, uh, Missouri, Springfield, Missouri, that area. Legitimate tough. Oh, great. NWA champion, big time, forever. Always did that headbutt off the top rope before Chris Benoit. I mean, double tough guy and a nice guy. Nice guy. Was he as crazy a driver as the stories I've heard of? Oh, yeah, because I'm glad you brought that up. I was trying to, there's something that was sticking out. He drove 100, 120 mile an hour all the time. Two lane roads, freeways, it didn't matter. And he'd get, he'd get pulled over and they'd let him go. They knew, Harley, oh, I can't give you a thing. Slow down, please. Yeah, because we had some long trips back then. He used to drive, we would drive from uh, Kansas City up to Des Moines or Kansas City to Omaha or St. Louis. I think he probably flew to St. Louis, but, you know, just a lot of, a lot of road traffic, a lot of, you know, go down to Wichita, Wichita, Kansas, Topeka, that wasn't far, but, uh, they wrestled in Kansas City, Kansas. That's where they would do the television. So back then you'd have a house show, but you would do the television with the house show, not just in the studio. And then sometimes, and then when you have the big show once a month, we'd go over to the municipal hall, hall or whatever it's called in Kansas City, Missouri, instead of Kansas City, Kansas. Always good crowds. Um, I remember names like Danny Little Bear, Indian that drew a lot of money. It was very, very nice to young Greg. And uh, just just a lot of good talent. Bob Geigel, Pat O'Connor. Yeah. yeah. A lot of legendary names mm-hmm. in that territory. You mentioned St. Louis. Did you work with uh, Dewey Robertson at all? The missing link? No. Okay. I wrestled him as Dewey Robinson before he got the missing link. Yeah. Dewey was a good guy. Strong. Oh my God, he was strong. So that missing link, that was that was perfect for him. You know, because he was out there too. But a good guy, you know. He ended up passing away at a very early age. And it could have been from the steroids or something. It was something to do. It was internal. And he passed. Long time ago. But I remember he used to walk around like this and he'd beat his head and maybe just beat himself in a submission. <laughs> Good guy, they'll do it. I, I know I keep saying that, but these, these people were my friends and out of the... Out of the ring and stuff, they were normal people, little eccentric, and Dewey was hit the gym all the time, and a lot of good memories about him. I actually beat him one time for the uh, Canadian title. He was a Canadian champion, and uh, I was both Mid-Atlantic and New York later on started coming up to Toronto, so I, I... I went up there with the Mid-Atlantic NWA all the time to Toronto. And then when I went to WWF, then they were starting to go into Toronto. So I was in Toronto a bunch of times. Wrestled 
Dewey Robinson there a bunch of times, and um, all good, all good stuff. Maple Leaf Gardens, Hamilton, and later on WWO, because Canada wanted Canadian content on their on their TV shows they got from WWF. So we would uh, we would go to I think it was Brandon or something like that. Just north of Hamilton, there was a city called Brandon, something like that. It wasn't Bradenton, that's in Florida, so it was Brandon. And we did how we did uh, TV shows out there. So. And so you stayed in Canada for, I mean, you ended yeah. up going back from a lot of your career then. Actually, when I beat Tito uh, for the IC belt, it was one of those cities in Canada that they did the... Uh, the filming for that, where I broke his leg and everything. So I figure four has been very good to me. Not to my opponents, but good to me. Chief Wallace McDaniel went down, Tito went down, Ronnie Garvin. Yeah, hands of stone, Ronnie Garvin. One of the greatest moves of all time, and I remember Russell and Ronnie, we had some stiff, Stiff ass matches. Love Ronnie Garvin. But the hardest thing ever was the the Garvin stomp, he called it. The fist of stone and the Garvin stomp where he would stomp you all over your body. <laughs> you remember seeing yeah, that? Yeah, each part, like all the yeah, way around. All around. Like, oh, here we go again. But great guy, Ronnie. 